Greetings and welcome. My name is Will Ruiz. I am a MAKEMO librarian with the LA County Library. And today we're gonna to be making a very simple and cool catapult. Actually, we're gonna be making this catapult right here. And you can use it to launch soft objects like this little pom-pom. It's really easy to make. And we'll teach you a little bit about the physics that make a catapult work. Uh, let's start with that actually. So the physics of a catapult uh, revolve around something called elastic potential energy. An elastic potential energy is energy that is stored as a result of applying force to deform an elastic object. So in this case, the elastic object is this rubber band right here. And as we press down on the swing arm of the catapult, you can see that that rubber band is going to stretch, which is actually storing some of the energy that we're applying on the other end and so it's being stored as potential energy. And once we let go and release that potential energy, that will transform into kinetic energy, which is what launches the swing arm and will launch the projectile. So it's a very important part of physics. It's the same type of potential energy that makes a bow and arrow function. Or for example, in this case, the little spring in this clothespin is also something that's being that's being used to store elastic potential energy. When we compress that spring, it wants to force it back into the original position. So when we release the other end of this clothespin, it will snap shut. So that's also elastic potential energy. It's a very interesting thing that we can use in a practical sense in order to launch projectiles and have fun with. And that's what we're gonna do today. So for this very simple uh, catapult, you're gonna need these objects over here. So we have a total of 10 regular size craft sticks, four standard rubber bands, and one simple plastic spoon. So I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to put this together. We encourage you to pause the video and rewatch it if any of the steps don't make sense. Um, but these are the main uh, materials that you would use to, uh, to make this catalog or this catapult. If you don't happen to have enough rubber bands, you could also make the same catapult using simple painter's tape on the side. Or if you have small zip ties lying around, you could also use zip ties in order to fashion all the pieces together. But you will need at least two rubber bands, one at this end to store the potential energy and the other to attach the spoon to one of those craft sticks. So let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is take eight of our craft sticks, so these two piles of four, and we're gonna go ahead and stack them all together just like you saw in the finished catapult. So take all eight of them and put them together. And for this particular uh, part of the catapult, if you'd like to use more or less than eight craft sticks, you can, um, but if you don't wanna use too many because it'll make it difficult for your catapult to work. So once you have your craft sticks stacked together like so, go ahead and take one of your rubber bands and simply wrap it around one of those ends, looping back and forth so that you have it tight enough so that these craft sticks aren't gonna move around. I believe I'll just loop that around six times, but whatever, depending on the size of your rubber band, you can figure out how many loops you need. Ultimately, you just wanna stick them all together so that they're not moving around. Now you wanna do this to one end at a time. First, you do it to one end, the reason being we want to be able to slide one of these additional craft sticks in between the last two. And if you uh, tighten both ends, it makes it really difficult to get that craft stick in there. So just tighten one end with the rubber bands and then go ahead and between the last two on either side, spread them apart slightly so you can slide one of those craft sticks in there. And it doesn't matter if it's centered or towards the side because we can slide this around uh, during the construction process. Just slide that between the last craft stick and then the other seven will be on top. And then go ahead and take one of those extra rubber bands we have and do the same thing as we did before, just tightening all of these together by wrapping it and looping it back and forth. Like I said, how many times you need to loop it will depend on the rubber band you choose. But you want it to be nice and tight so that these don't move around. Okay, so this is the base. And that's actually pretty much done. Let's go ahead and set that aside for a second. And now we need to take the spoon and your last craft stick. And we need to attach these together. So the best way to do this is going to be placing the spoon over top 
I find it easier than placing the spoon behind it if you place it over top because it has a little flat surface here that will um, line up pretty nicely with the flat surface of the craft stick. And it's pretty helpful if you hold it like I am right here with my thumb towards the bottom. That way I have plenty of exposed spoon that I can wrap the rubber band around. For this part, it's best to start towards the bottom and then you'll end up with the last of the rubber band towards the top uh, when you uh, use all of the slack in the rubber band. So let me just show you what that looks like. And just like before, you're gonna twist the rubber band and loop it through multiple times. And just be careful not to stretch it too much so you don't break it. That could be a little bit of a hazard. Um, but that's all there is to it. Um, if it's too bunched up at one end, you can stretch those or slide those rubber bands down a little bit so that it has rubber band throughout most of the length of the spoon. That will prevent the spoon from uh, coming up away from the craft stick and make your catapult uh, function a little bit better. So now that we have the swing arm, let's grab that base and let's talk about how we're going to attach these two together. So it's going to be easiest if you slide this out a little bit, just make sure you don't pull it all the way out. And that way you have a long end that's pretty uh, shallow angle. So when you attach these two together, you have an angle like that and it's really easy to stretch the rubber band over it. If you attach them like this, it's kind of hard to stretch your rubber band around the craft sticks when they're at an angle like that. So go ahead and attach it to the long side and we can slide this and reposition it after we attach this last rubber band. For this last rubber band, one tip I'm gonna give you is to make sure you don't attach it too tight. For these standard size rubber bands, I've found that around five loops is pretty perfect, uh, but if you do significantly more than that, what will happen is the band won't stretch when you actually try and launch objects out of the catapult. Instead, it'll just be the popsicle stick that, that flexes, and it doesn't store as much energy, and the catapult ultimately doesn't function as well. So go ahead and hold the two pieces together like this, and take your rubber band in the other hand. And remember, we'll want to wrap it, like I said, five times. So there's one, two, three, four, five. And it may seem a little bit loose. That's okay. We're going to go ahead and move this around so that it has a uniform tightness to the uh, rubber band. And the thing you want to test is whether or not the rubber band stretches apart when you depress on the swing arm. And in order to do that, we want to slide this uh, piece right here a little bit further forward towards the rubber band. That way you can see how it stretches. So you see how the rubber band stretches completely and the two arms actually separate at this point? That's what we're looking for in order to store the optimal amount of energy in that uh, rubber band as elastic potential energy. Just to show you, for example, if you decided to wrap it significantly more times. So that's just two more wraps. Even just wrapping it two more times, you see how it doesn't really allow the rubber band to stretch? That's what we're trying to avoid. One thing I do want to point out is that this little piece right here is going to slide and make it adjustable so that if you slide it back, you'll have a, a smaller angle and that will launch objects higher in the air, but not nearly as far. If you want to launch objects as far as this catapult will launch them, then you want to move this over closest to the rubber band and that will increase that amount of that angle and then cause the objects to launch a little bit further, but not as high. So like I said, it was a very simple catapult. We hope you have fun using it around the house or outside. You could launch things like these pom-poms that we have here. You could launch just perhaps little bits of paper. If you have some miniature erasers lying around, that's a good safe object to launch around. Or perhaps this little mini sailboat. All of these are all going or being launched by the same physical forces. Again, that's elastic potential energy. And we're able to store all of that energy just in those coils of the rubber band. So we hope you enjoy your catapult. We hope to see you back in the library soon. 
If you made one of your catapults and decorated it, we'd love to see what you came up with. So please reach out to us at, on social media at LA County Library. And we hope to see you soon.